Captain Daniel K. Inouye, United States Army, Medal of Honor, Bronze Star, Purple Heart, will now rest here at the National Cemetery of the Pacific in his own Flanders fields, where he rejoins many of his brothers of the Gulf of Broke 442nd Regimental Combat Team one of the most decorated units in U.S. military history. It was just a few days ago. I spent a full hour with Senator Inouye in his office, just the two of us. We talked as if there were many tomorrows. There wouldn't be any tomorrows. The next day he was taken to the hospital, surprised us all. We talked as if there were lots of tomorrows. But I repeat, there wouldn't be. He nor I had no inkling that in eight days he would be gone. In the Old Testament, the book of Ecclesiastics, chapter 3, verse 2, tells us, To everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die. You see, this was Daniel Inouye's time. He lived a full and productive life. He was 88 years old, and he lived each of those 88 years to its fullest. He was a war hero, a decorated soldier who left the innocence of youth and most of his right arm in an Italian battlefield, where he defended our nation's freedom, even as that nation questioned the loyalty of patriots who looked like him. Dan Inouye's legacy is not only the loving family he leaves behind. It can be seen on every part of every island in this place we call Hawaii. Dan is a part of every community health clinic, every national park, every airport, every harbor, every military base, every veteran cemetery. Dan Inouye is Hawaii, and Hawaii is Dan Inouye. Mahalo nui loa, Dan, for your lifetime of service to Hawaii and our great nation. God bless you on your journey after this life. My brother, aloha oi, hui ho. So let us pick up the baton that he has laid at our feet and carry forward in his name and for our beloved Hawaii. Aloha, boss. Ahui ho. Until we meet again. Right. Hey! Freeze! Hey.